What is going on, everybody? Your friendly neighborhood saying is back once more, ready to react. Now, some of you may have recalled last time I was here, we started off with the Thanos quest, a badass tale in which we saw like the beginning of like Thanos, like starting his quest for the Infinity Stones and like seeing his goals of like what he wants to do with the Infinity Stones seeing his whole infatuation with Mistress Death. Basically the prequel story, if you will, to Infinity Gauntlet. And I'm pretty sure some of y'all remember, last time I was here, I, I actually really loved the Thanos quest. I gave it a full price, actually, if I remember correctly. And I remember, if I remember correctly, just leaving that video off with how excited I was for Infinity Gauntlet. Oh my god, is it fucking insane. You guys have no fucking idea how bad shit insane this fucking story is. It's nuts. And the basic premise is, it, it, you guys pretty much know, whoever's watched Avengers Infinity War Endgame, this is what those events are based off of, with Thanos finally acquiring, like, all six of the Infinity Gems, starting his conquest, if you will, so to speak, to gain the attention and the love of Mistress Death herself. There is so much with this fucking comic. You have to literally see this shit to fucking believe it. It's insane. In a good way, not in a bad way whatsoever. And there's a very different order of events compared to like Infinity War and Endgame. Like by the beginning of this, Thanos already has the fucking Infinity Gauntlet on. Like he's already fucking found it. Which, I don't know. I don't know, like, I don't, like, I'm not mad about it, but I wish we could have, like, seen in the Thanos comic, like, you know, like, where and how did he attain the gauntlet? Like, we saw that he had the gems, but we didn't see how he found the gauntlet, which it's not that much of a big deal. It's not that much of a big deal. I, it's me being a little tiny bit nitpicky, and maybe they'll address it in a flashback in future stories, because they're still, like, fucking, t there's, like, two or three fucking main events that we still have to go through for the infinity saga after this so yeah he basically has the gauntlet like on already he's pretty much omnipotent at this point he's so op with the it's crazy how much more powerful thanos is in this comic compared to the mcu you remember the infinity gauntlet remember all the shit that it did in endgame that is a child's toy compared to this right here and he has mephisto with him as well who's like gone out of his way to like basically he's playing his cards right he's bowing down to thanos he's like you know what dude i respect your power you're the best you're the biggest dick og in all the cosmos and the rest of the premise of the story is basically thanos like trying to capture the affections of mistress death once again like he and the depths he goes to are mad. You remember the whole premise of Endgame and Infinity War was behind the snap? That happens within the first 20 to 30 fucking pages. I shit you not. Like, Silver Surfer shows up and the Destroyer shows up along with him and they try to, like, take down Thanos. Thanos just, like, he doesn't even move and he's just twisting and contorting them into the most, like, just ripping them apart and putting them back together basically and he's having fun and he's smiling while he's do yo i love josh brolin as thanos but like oh i'm so com oh, okay okay let me calm down i'm so conflicted y'all because i love thanos and mcu i also love this one like how much more of like a I don't know, there's, like, he's way more unhinged in this, and I don't, I don't know what it is I like. He's just a psychotic badass, that's what I want to say. Oh, you guys thought it was the worst? Y'all thought the snap was the worst? Oh no, baby, it gets much more worse than that. It, like, it gets to a point where he's still trying, and Mistress Death is still, like, visibly repulsed, like, she doesn't give a fuck about Thanos, and he throws this gigantic hissy fit. Where, like, all of his anger and power, like, goes through the fucking gauntlet and lashes out at anything nearby. And he blows up this 20 million year old, like, red giant. And it throws the entire fucking universe out of balance. It's insane. Like, earthquakes hit 
everywhere all over Earth. Tsunamis are all over the fucking planet. Like, Tony Stark, like Iron Man, while he's in orbit, like, trying to check out this shit, and he goes back... While he's in space, like, trying to check out, like, what the fuck is going on, and he goes back down to orbit, you see him, and he sees the entire western seaboard fucking break off and fall into the ocean. That... That alone right there is more bleaker than anything in Infinity War and Endgame put together. And it's beyond dark, man. Like, I love it. Like, the characterization, to the writing, to the swerves... And my personal, one of my all-time, oh, yo, one of my personal favorite all-time fucking battles and moments in Marvel history happens later on. And Adam Warlock eventually manages to escape the Soul Realm and come back to, like, reality, to our plane of existence. And he gets together the Avengers, everybody from Wolverine to Cyclops to Captain America. And Adam Warlock sends them all off to like do whatever they can to the it's it's almost sad how fucking insane it is like nobody does anything to thanos it's bad like none of them even fucking lasts a chance and it gets so bad to the point where oh, it's just like the one of the most insane shit i've ever seen adam warlock in like a desperate attempt to do all this like goes out to the cosmos and he finds everyone he finds everyone to the watcher to eternity to chronos to lord chaos and master order who if you will remember were present when fucking thanos got the first stone from the in-betweener to galactus to the stranger to the embodiments of love and hate to two celestials that are gigantic and last but not least the fucking living tribunal himself and it gets to the point where like eternity is like trying to talk the living tribunal to do this and it's like living tribunal for some reason decides like oh no cosmic crimes are here are being committed here nothing to see move along now and he just pieces the fuck out he doesn't even participate in the final fight that's all i want to fucking say for now like it, it's it's so nutty it gets even more crazier than that. It gets even more crazier than that right there alone. But yo, this story had so many feels to it. It made me laugh. It made me feel a sense of like helplessness. It gave me joy. It made me go, oh shit. It, like every emotion this story fucking gave me. This is easily better than sex for me. I'm going that far with this story from like the insanity of like the galactic fight between the deities and Thanos to like trying to get all these characters and heroes together and like seeing how some of these heroes are dealing with this and like how it has like scarred them beyond belief and how they have to deal with it to seeing Thanos absolutely lose his mind and like going crazy to like even seeing mistress death like with the little subtle like movements and looks she gives thanos like all that is all that is perfection and this easily ranks up there as one of my favorite comic book events of all time bar no like bar none and next up i believe is infinity crusade or infinity war i'm not 100 percent sure but whichever one is next you best believe your boy is fucking stoked. I cannot fucking wait to see how farther they go with this shit. But as always, if y'all like what I had to say, don't forget to like your likes, comment your comments, sub your subs, share your shares. And I will see y'all on the next video. And as always, peace and chicken grease.